Okay, welcome to Codio Challenge 3.6 times 10 every other. In this Codio Challenge, we are passing in three inputs, a list of numbers, a multiplier value M, and a value N. You should multiply every nth element, do not multiply the zero element by M. So if N is three, you would start with the third element, which is at index location two. And so when you think about that, just remember that zero is the first location in the index. So zero, one, two, two would be your third element in an index. Okay, so, uh, and then down here it says, if there are less than n elements, when you should output, then you, then you should output the unchanged input list. So the first thing we're gonna address when we think about this is this value n. And so <clears throat> what we're doing is we're, we're stepping every nth element through the list. So we'll, we'll just call this step. So step equals n minus one. And again, we're using the minus one because zero is your first element in an index. So to get that third element to index two, we would sub subtract one. Now we're going to create a while loop. So we'll say while step is less than, we're going to use the length function, and this is the numbers in the list. So here we're saying while step is less than the length of numbers, what action do we want it to take? And so the action that we want it to take is Take the list, the numbers, and multiply it by the count. Okay, and you can see here I'm using the multiplied equal. And so, again, uh, for those of you who haven't seen this, this is just the same as saying plus, equal, minus, equal. And all this is doing is taking this side, multiplying it by this side, and replacing it again to this side. It's just stepping each time through the loop. And then what we'll do is we'll say, step plus equal in and then so just so uh, everybody understands where we're at we set our step this is how many uh, elements that we're going to step through the index through the list of numbers and so here we're creating the while loop. So we're saying as long as the step is less than the entire length of numbers. So we are we are given a list of numbers. And this is our step, our index step. And as long as this is less than the total list of numbers, we're going to keep stepping through each element and, and uh, multiply that third, fourth, fifth, whatever that n value is. We're going to multiply it times n, and then we're going to step again in elements. So if the first number is 3, we're going to multiply the second index value times m. Then we're going to move on to the fifth index value times it by m, the eighth value times it by m, so on and so forth. This is where this step here comes in. We're just saying take your, your initial step variable and then add it add it 
and replace that value with n again. So that's why um, we have the uh, plus equal n. So it's doing the same thing. So once we do that, we print our list of numbers. So let's go over here and check this. Okay, so once you check this program, you see that the list of numbers they gave us, one, two, three, four, five, six, is less than the step seven. And so in this case, if the if the list is less than n elements, then you should output the unchanged input list. So they gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, and we outputted one, two, three, four, five, six, because the amount of elements here are less than the step, the counter, the step that we step through the list that they gave us. So we're just printing out the exact same list that they give us. So um, again, as always, please subscribe to these videos. Thank you for watching. Please like the videos and I will see you in the next Codeo challenge. Again, thank you for watching.